intersects earthly living with heaven's gracious giving. Let me say that again. Prayer intersects earthly living with heaven's gracious giving. Now, religious thinking tends to resist this because they prefer the emphasis to be on earning God's approval to in some way merit getting your prayers answered. Oh, I deserve to get my prayers answered. God's grace is key to praying in faith. We put our confidence in His loving kindness, in His grace, and the righteousness that He imparts to us. Look at Romans 8, verse 32. He who did not withhold or spare even His own Son, but gave Him up, talking about Jesus, for us all, will He not also with Him freely and graciously give us all other things? Did you get that? Freely and graciously, not earned or deserved, but freely and graciously. God freely gives, but that doesn't eliminate our need to ask and receive. Not once, but over and over and over and over. Look at what Jesus says here instructing us in persistent prayer. He says in Matthew 7, verse 7, Keep on asking, and it will be given to you. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking reverently, and the door will be open to you. So, do you need this, or do you need that? Do you need this, or do you need that? Do you need X, or do you need Y? There was a poster I saw one time, and it said, Dear Lord, please don't let my husband be home when all my online orders arrive. Amen. <laughs> we ask God for things that, let's be honest here, that we think will make us happy. All of us have in one way or another prayed prayers that we believe the answer will make us happy. What we need to be aware of is simply this. Happy does not always equal good. You may eat six or seven of your favorite donuts, but that doesn't mean it's good, good for you. You may feel happy indulging in a shopping spree with your credit card, but that doesn't mean it's good, especially when your bill arrives 20 days later. Happy is not necessarily synonymous with good. So a prayer that you think will result in your best could be seen differently by God. A lot of times it is seen differently by God. You might be asking for X, Y, Z, thinking it'll be the best, and that God in His infinite wisdom and His knowledge, He might be saying, well, X, Y, Z will harm you, but A, B, C will truly bless you and fill you with maximum joy. 